So today we're going to do for you uh, a really quick and easy pasta carbonara, and that consists of prosciutto, Parmesan cheese, peas, and onions. We're going to caramelize a little bit and put that into the sauce. This is all going to be part of the sauce. And we're going to use farfalle pasta because any kind of the ribbed pasta, rigatoni, penne, or farfalle, they, they have the ridges and they hold the sauce okay, so really we got well. our pasta in the water cooking. We're going to grill some chicken here. All we did was put this in some olive oil with some salt and pepper and right off to this really handy panini press. Close it up, we just give that a couple of minutes, and we're gonna to go to our next step. We took our chicken off. This was only on there about three minutes, and as you can see, fully done, and that's the thickest piece. That's how you know they're all done. Take the thickest one, slice it. If it's done, they're all done. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna take our pasta and drain it, rinse it in the cool water, and then start our sauce. carbonara sauce what we're going to do is we melted a little butter in the pan and now we're going to add just about a teaspoon of olive oil to this just mix that up a little bit and then you can hear it start to crackle it's hot enough we're going to add our onions Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cook these down quite a bit. We're going to get some color on these. Not brown, but we're going to almost get them caramelized. So this is going to take about 10 minutes or so, and uh, you'll see what these look like before we add our next ingredient. See the color on our onions here is starting to get a little bit of that brown caramelization. That's what we want. From this point, we're going to add some a couple of fresh cloves of garlic. And we're going to add our chopped prosciutto. And we're going to do the same thing. This is only going to take a couple minutes to saute. And we're going to go to our next step from here. Okay, so we got our prosciutto cooked down like this. Just a few minutes, that's all it takes. Add a little shot of pepper. And now what we're going to do is use some white wine to deglaze this pan. Okay, and then we're just going to cook that off. And then we're going to thicken it up and add the rest of our ingredients. See, we got almost all the wine cooked out. There's just a little bit left down there, and that's that's fine. You want a little bit of that flavor in there anyway. We're going to add one more, about a half a tablespoon of butter. Melt this in. And then we're going to add flour to this and thicken it up, and then add our cream to make the sauce. We uh, melted the butter into this. You can see how thick it is already. We're going to add on top of that a little flour. And remember, the recipe will tell you how much. So we're just going to incorporate this. Make our roux with all the uh, ingredients here. And don't worry if it dries up like this, this is what you want. So, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, here we go. We got uh, everything incorporated here. Now we're gonna add our cream. Okay, now this it's going to come to a boil. We're going to turn up the heat, bring it to a boil. As soon as it starts to boil, it's going to thicken up, and then we'll finish it. Okay, so now you can see our sauce here. That's the consistency you want. It's nice and thick, but it's also runny. You don't want it to be like glue. You can always adjust it now with a little bit more cream or milk if you want to do that. That's fine. So now to finish this off, we're going to add our uh, Parmesan cheese. Mix that in. We're going to add frozen peas. Mix those in. Okay, we're going to add our grilled chicken that we diced up. Just mix that in there. And then we're going to add some pasta. And you could do this one of two ways. You can add it to the sauce and just mix it and then plate it, or you can put the pasta on a plate and then salt, put the sauce over it. Either way. I like to do it this way because it gets fully coated on all the pasta. Ok, 
Okay, so now we're just gonna plate this. It's a really nice looking disc because you got the, all the colors in here. The green peas, the pink with the prosciutto, and even the grilled chicken. All adds a nice touch of uh, color to this. Okay, and we're just gonna finish it with a little more of the shredded Parmesan. A little parsley. And a shot of black pepper. There you go, that's it. Pasta carbonara with grilled chicken. Now we did this a simplified way for our people cooking at home. We did it with all cream. A lot of recipes with carbonara use a liaison, which means egg yolks, and they use the pasta water because the starch gets out of the pasta, goes into the water, they use that as a thickening agent. Um, this is a simplified way and it comes out just as good, really. So give it a try, enjoy.